that's a hell of a difficult thing to do, right? For a huge company to just pivot. I mean, so interesting to, because we'll talk about your current work. Mm. It's like, it's clear that PCs were dominating for several decades, mm. like desktop computers. And then mobile, it's unclear. It's a, it's a leadership question. Like, like Apple under Steve Jobs, when he came back, they pivoted multiple times. You know, they yeah. built iPads and iTunes and phones and tablets and great Macs. Like, like who knew computers should be made out of aluminum? Nobody knew that. That they're great. It's, it's super fun. That was Steve? Yeah, Steve Jobs. Like, they pivoted multiple times. And, uh, you know, the old Intel, they, they did that multiple times. They made DRAMs and processors and processes and... I got to ask this. What was it like working with Steve Jobs? I didn't work with him. Did you I, interact with him? Twice. <laughs> I said hi to him twice in the cafeteria. What did he say? Hi? He said, hey, fellas. <laughs> he was friendly. He was wandering around and with somebody. He couldn't find a table because the cafeteria was was packed. And I gave my table. But I worked for Mike Colbert, who talked to, like, Mike, Mike was the unofficial CTO of Apple. And a brilliant guy. And he worked for Steve for 25 years, maybe more. And he talked to Steve multiple times a day. And he was one of the people who could put up with Steve's, let's say, brilliance and intensity. And and Steve really liked him. And Steve trusted Mike to translate the shit he thought up into engineering products at work. And then Mike ran a group called Platform Architecture. And I was in that group. So many times I'd be sitting with Mike and the phone would ring. It'd be Steve, and Mike would hold the phone like this because Steve would be yelling about something or other. Yeah, and he would and translate, he would, and he translate, and then he would say, "Steve wants us to do this." So, was Steve a good engineer or no? I don't know. He was a great idea guy, idea person, and he's a really good selector for talent. Yeah, so that seems to be one of the key elements of leadership, right? And then he was a really good first principles guy. Like, like somebody would say something couldn't be done, and he would just think, "That's." obviously wrong right but you know maybe it's hard to do maybe it's expensive to do maybe we need different people you know there's like a whole bunch of you know like if you want to do something hard you know maybe it takes time maybe you have to iterate there's a whole bunch of things you, you could think about but saying it can't be done is stupid 